Following the recent national dialogue on the much talked about FGM issue in the Gambia, the Supreme Islamic Council Thursday held a press conference to further clarify its position on fem female circumcision and the criminalized law against female genital, female genital mutilation, FGM. This stance is coming on the heels of intense debate on FGM-related matters following the call, especially among renowned Islamic scholars and imam for the repeal of the anti-FGM law in the Gambia. During the media conference, the Gambia Supreme Islamic Council reiterated its call for the government to reconsider the anti-FGM law, saying female circumcision is not a merely inherited custom, but also a practice with religious background. Here is an excerpt. The Gambia Supreme Islamic Council is pleased to issue a fatwa to all Muslims in the Gambia regarding the, legit the legality of female circumcision. In this regard, the Gambia Supreme Islamic Council would like to clarify that female circumcision is not a merely inherited custom or as falsely claimed by those who are clueless about Islamic law. Rather, it is one of the virtues of Islam and among the Sunnah practices dictated by the Messenger of Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said in a hadith, five practices are, character are the characteristics of the fitra, of which he mentioned circumcision. The legitimacy of female circumcision has been proven in several established hadith on the authority of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Therefore, Muslims, Muslim jurists agreed on its legality. Some jurists have even recommended acts of Sunnah. Some jurists, Afwan, some jurists have even argued that female circumcision is obligatory, whereas others have considered it a recommended act of Sunnah. It was not reported by any of the reliable Muslim scholars denying the legality of female circumcision in the manner prescribed by the, Prophet, by the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is because the noble Sharia never recognizes anything that causes harm to people, be it health or physical. The Gambia Supreme Islamic Council wishes to point out that the legal form of female circumcision involves cutting off only a tiny upper part of the clitoris without removing it or touching any part of the labia, which runs contrary to what is known as female genital mutilation and does not entail the removal of the genital organ or what is known as the pharaohic circumcision. Muslim jurists have agreed that this type is illegal because of the harm it inflicts on women. That is the female genital mutilation. In this context, the Gambia Supreme Islamic Council calls on the government of the Gambia to reconsider the law criminalizing female circumcision and to hold anyone who practice such accountable because as Muslims, religion is the most precious thing we have in this life. The Gambia Supreme Islamic Council would like to clarify that Allah has decreed female circumcision and it therefore condemns quarters and individuals who denounce the practice and calls on the authorities to hold them accountable. A bill proposing the repeal of the 2015 ban on female genital mutilation, FGM, also known as female circumcision, has sparked controversy and divided public opinions. The National Assembly member for Fonyi Kansala constituency, Honorable Mami Jiba, on March 4, introduced the Women Amendment Bill 2024 in Parliament. The bill accused that female circumcision is a deeply rooted cultural and religious practice for many Gambians and that the ban infringes open 
their rights to practice their tradition. The move has since drawn strong opposition from FGM and TFGM advocates who continue to urge lawmakers to uphold the existing legislation. According to Honorable Jiba, while female circumcision is permissible, what is known as female genital mutilation is illegal even in Islam.